All right, um, student developer here. This is part two of finding your yarn and pitch. So hopefully you got a better uh, understanding of what yarn and pitch is uh, from the previous video. So now we're gonna actually get into finding it. So I'm um, using uh, Black Ops 1, of course, and uh, we're using Cheat Engine 7. Point. So uh, let's get into it. Let's make it happen. Go to the same old new channel. Um, make sure your anti-cheat is disabled. Um, yeah, I, I, pr I pretty much uh, drilled in on why you should have your anti-cheat disabled. Let's get into it. Let's go ahead and attach our game to cheat engine. So Let's just wait for it to start the night end. Defeat all that have been before us. So your yawn, you look straight up. That's positive 90 for one flow, as I discussed earlier. And you look straight down, it is uh, negative 90 or negative one flow. So in this game, uh that's that's what we're going to be fine. So, um, what we're going to do is change our value type to float, and we're going to add one. Um, yeah, we're going to add one with a couple zeros, some precision, and we're going to change it to rounded by default. And uh, let's go ahead and look straight up. And let's do our let's do our first scan. Okay. Now let's look straight down and change this to a negative negative one since we're looking down. Huh. Okay. Let's look up. Um, let's, let's see here. Negative one. Uh, we're going to try it another way. That doesn't seem quite right. So, just going to do it the old way. And just look straight up. And we're, instead of uh, doing increase and date and decrease we're going to do uh change and unchanged value so that's how we're going to find it this time go ahead and do it. and now we're going to do let's look down and change the value look up change down um change up no, I'm just gonna walk straight up, unchanged up. I'm just gonna keep doing this till we narrow it down. Unchanged up. Now, I probably did this wrong uh, because when I moved around, I, I also changed our pitch and changed it to unchanged. So if that happened, then 
I'm gonna have to do a new skin, which is which is fine, perfectly fine. It's nothing wrong with starting over. Learn from your mistakes, so it won't happen again. Yep. Unchained. Plus one. We only see one, we see one negative one, and, but that increases to negative 11. So we're gonna do a new scan, rounded by default. And this time we're gonna try uh, increase and decrease. Now, I don't know if this is gonna work. It, 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 there's a good chance it will, but we're just gonna, we're just gonna try. Okay, all right. So, Decrease, increase, decrease, oops, undo skin, yep, increase, decrease, increase, decrease, around, unchanged value, oops, Change value, increase. I know this takes quite a while, and you know you only gotta do it one time. So that's the that's the good part about it. Okay, so what I think is happening with Call of Duty, it doesn't go directly straight to one. So you see, we're not looking straight up. We're like completely up. Um, it's it's more like like eighty nine or eighty eight pitch, and it's the same thing when we look down. So it's not going to go directly to one. I, I made that mistake in uh, other games, and you know, it kind of confused me and. It, just figured I'd let you guys know that. So when you look straight up, it might not be exactly one. It might be 0.98, but it's it's the same thing. So um, these addresses here are black, which means they're dynamic, and they're going to change when we start the game. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of these. Mm -hmm. Move. Gonna see if we find any more of those. Yep. So we're gonna remove these as well. Move all of these. Yep. And remove. So now we're stuck with these addresses here. Now we're not gonna be freezing any values. That's not what we're gonna do in this video. We're just gonna try to narrow it down. Uh so let's let's go ahead. So as we see here. We see uh, uh, positive 99, 99, 99. We don't see any more positive 99s. So if we go down, we see negative 99, negative 99, and negative. So these here could potentially be our pitch. Our pitch. So let's grab these addresses here and then we're just going to get rid of that. So now let's see here. Um, now let's go ahead and browse the memory region here. Now I, I mentioned this before 
This is in hexadecimal. You don't want to view it in hexadecimal. So we're going to change our display type to uh, four byte decimal. So let's do that. And as we see here, this isn't what we want. This is not what we want. So let's try to find, let's try to find a smaller. Let's do, let's do byte decimal. See, actually, I'm sorry, I'm incorrect. I'm incorrect. Um, it's a float. It's this is a float. So that's that's my mistake. I make mistakes. It happens. Uh, let's browse the memory region again once more and change it to a float. Sorry, sorry about that mistake. It happened. So now here we see we can see our. Uh, our pitch. So negative negative one, positive one. Negative one, positive. So that is our pitch. This is our pitch. So let's go ahead and name this pitch. That is our pitch. We found our pitch. That's our pitch. So now go ahead and get rid of these addresses here. Delete. Huh? Let's go back to the memory region. And let's find our y'all. Okay. So what we're going to be looking for is values between, uh, or ranges between 100, positive 180 to negative 180. So let's go ahead and look for that. Okay. So it's not going to be between 180 and, uh, and negative 180. It's just going to be between, uh, negative one and positive one. And it's going to go in between, it's going to go to, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's just going to be positive one and negative one. Um, so look here. When I turn, it it goes to zero. So this here, our y'all is zero. This is zero. So when we move this way, we're, we're going positive. Now, here, we're looking behind us. See, it goes from positive to negative. Positive to negative. See, here, this is behind us. So we're looking completely behind us. Now, we're looking in front of us, if, if that makes sense. I'm so sorry. If I confused you, I kind of confused myself a little bit, but yeah. So in front of us is positive one, behind us is negative one. I hope that makes sense to you guys. I know I, I kind of screwed this one up, but you know, hey, oh well. So once again, plus one. So your pitch is plus one. And when you look behind yourself, it's negative. So we're going to add this address, our address list here, and name this y'all. And that, my friends, is how you find your y'all and your pitch. Um, this is student developer, and I'm out.